Donald Trump is A-B testing new nicknames for Ron DeSantis and it is hilarious. It's, it's the best thing happening in the news today. So um, Ron DeSanctimonious mm, isn't playing so well, You know, maybe it's a little too clever. Usually the nicknames and the insults that Trump uses that tend to be effective are more juvenile than Ron DeSanctimonious. Yeah, and by the way, we know for a fact that it was Roger Stone who came up with that and not Donald Trump. And I could tell instantly that it wasn't Trump. I, look, if you ask Trump what does sanctimonious mean right now after he's been using it for over a month, there's no way he knows it, okay? So that's why he's looking for a new nickname. And to be fair to Trump, he's right. It's a terrible nickname and it's MAGA is not gonna know it either. <laughs> they don't even know what they're criticizing him for. And it's it's a mouthful, which leads us to us the new nicknames. Let's go to graphic two here. He has insulted DeSantis in casual conversations, describing him as, this is, no, this is amazing, Meatball Ron. <laughs> That's hilarious. An apparent dig at his appearance, or shut down Ron, a reference to restrictions the governor put in place at the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, which by the way, literally every elected lawmaker put into place in the beginning phases of the pandemic. Are you kidding me? So Trump's like, been bragging about how he did the vaccine and saved millions of lives, and it, it's, and you mentioned A-B testing, that's trial and error, right? Yeah. So he's been trying it in front of audiences and they start booing him. It's the only thing I've ever seen MAGA boo him for. So now he's turning around and saying, uh, vaccine, what do you mean? God damn, DeSantis, he shut things down. He took the coronavirus seriously for like a minute. Can you believe it? A boo. Turn right around, because he's a con man. He's a natural born con he man. He is, he is. Uh, now, it seems as though the meatball Ron insult uh, has already taken off. Um, so I knew it, didn't I tell it, you this morning? No, it's but it's great, it's good. Meatball Ron is good. Uh, I don't know if Ron DeSantis is Italian, right? Oh, with a name like DeSantis? Yeah, sounds Italian, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and so it, does it have like racial overtones against Italians? Of course, uh, we, look, we kid around about it because Everybody one, loves Italians though, come on. Yeah, everybody loves around. Italians, nobody's racist against Italians. <laughs> Leave it to Trump to be like weirdly, like at least, like have a racist nickname towards Italians, but that's you know to be fair to him, it's pretty multicultural. He's open minded. Now he's insulting everyone. I just, but anyway, it's not serious because Italians are not persecuted in this country. Also, I just now once you once you see it, you can't unsee it. Ron DeSantis does kind of look like a meatball. I told you. Okay, so like <laughs> let's let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, we got to provide the evidence. You know, we would never steer you in the wrong direction. <laughs> so here's a side by side featuring Ron DeSantis and meatballs. Um, those look like they might be pork meatballs, not entirely sure, but nonetheless, <laughs> uh, there is an uncanny resemblance here. <laughs> look, guys, there's oh my well, spaghetti <laughs> and DeSantis meatballs, anyone? <laughs> The Sant Balls, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that, wow, that sounds awful. That sounds even worse than his nickname. And uh, Trump supporters seem to love it. So Laura Loomer is already using this, um, you know, posting imagery of Ron DeSantis sitting on a giant meatball. I mean, in a world where, and in a country where you can't really rely on politicians to do anything to represent your best interests. Let's take solace in the juvenile games that are being played within the Republican Party. <laughs> yes, yes. So at first I thought, okay, so it's an anti-Italian thing, and plus he's, I guess he's saying he's pudgy or something, right? Uh, I mean, and Trump I isn't like, exactly a supermodel. I mean, not to yeah. make him feel bad about uh, the rotund nature of his body, but like, come on, come on, bro. Okay, now <laughs> we've all I seen was, you play golf. Like, let's just keep it real. Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about chubby. I mean, tr Trump is. Way bigger than DeSantis is, okay? And you've seen that golf picture. Uh, and so I guess he'd be Dumpling Don. <laughs> dumpling sounds cute, you can't do it. No, well, I don't know. Dump though sounds about right. Oh my God. Okay, Trumpling Dumpling, I don't know. Anyways, uh, so, uh, but then uh, looking at DeSantis's head, once you see that DeSantis's head kind of looks like a meatball, you can't unsee it. And so this is gonna be super effective. No, 100%, by the way, uh, it has just been confirmed. We've just uh, fact checked this, Ron DeSantis is in fact Italian. So given that information, there's definitely a weird insult toward Italians there, which I don't, you're, I mean, I guess you're right. I mean, Don 
Donald Trump likes to attack everyone. Doesn't matter what your background is, he'll go after you. But like what's amazing about this is how it seems to be working. Right, mm -hmm. like at first there was this negative reaction to Trump attacking Ron DeSantis. But now that I think the electorate has seen how DeSantis responds to Trump's insults. Remember, they like strong men. No, yeah. Right? And Ron DeSantis is doing this when he goes low, I go high strategy. Oh, you're which you're gonna get mauled doing that. Yeah, it, it does appear that it's working against him at this point. No, no, Trump's winning. Uh, he's back to the favorite for sure. Uh, so there's a couple of reasons why. First, MAGA loves to have fun. And this is fun. They and love DeSantis dunking on is, people. A, is, is a wet blanket. They, DeSantis had like, he was doing like high level trolling, right? Oh, I hate critical race theory, and we're gonna make sure nobody can say the word gay and all this stuff, right? And they're like, oh, that's good, good, good. They like that, right? But it wasn't fun, right? Here, meatball run. It was like, ah, ah, let's put that on top of a meatball. Let's make his head a meatball. Ah, have, he's activating the trolls, right? And so now we got a tug of war between right wing media. And their audience, because mm. right wing media is pushing DeSantis so super hard, hard, right? So hard, absolutely. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, this is a little unbecoming of Trump." Oh, all of a sudden, you think it's unbecoming? All of a sudden, I'm very curious. Like, if Trump starts attacking Ron DeSantis from the perspective of you're just copying everything that I did, that my supporters love. Like, if he starts calling him like bootleg Don. Mm -hmm. I think that might actually be even more effective. Because really, I mean, when you think about it, he is right in that he built Ron DeSantis. Oh, that's definitely true. Yeah. Right? He's the one who endorsed Ron DeSantis for governor in Florida. Ron DeSantis put out that incredibly embarrassing ad where he's like, oh, I love, I love Donald Trump. Me, I read Donald Trump books to my kids at night. Like that incredibly embarrassing video. Trump can use that to his advantage. And so, why, like, I, if I were Trump, I'd say, why would you want counterfeit Trump when you can have the real deal? Yeah, for sure, and that'll work. So, uh, look, now reports are that DeSantis might uh, announce sometime in May or June. He ain't gonna make it to May, man. We'll see. I mean, if this, if Trump keeps bludgeoning him between now and May, that meatball is gonna be off the plate by the time it gets to May. Because the tug of war between the audience and the media works this way. Media goes, okay, I'm gonna do brainwashing. Okay, right wingers, you now love DeSantis. You don't like Trump as much anymore. He's embarrassing. He loses elections, right? And they're like, oh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. And then he goes, Trump goes, meatball run. They're like, I like meatball run. No, I'm turning away from you guys. They're like, okay, 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 okay. don't turn away, don't turn away. And that's how the tug of war goes. And eventually, the audience will win. And I'd be shocked if they didn't pick Trump over this. And guys, remember, Trump is the Messiah to them. So, like, you're asking him to pick an apostle over Jesus. Mm, okay. Can't do that. Can't let that happen. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> okay, finally, we can't let this story end without reminding you of Trump's greatest hits. Without further ado. Lion Ted, Little Marco, Crooked Hillary, Pocahontas, Slippy Joe and Crazy Bernie, Minnie Mike, Beautiful Ted, Rhonda Sanctimonious. You know, Crazy Bernie never stuck because people like Bernie. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. the sanctimonious is a stick because they don't know what it means. All right, my last thing is why we don't mind having fun with this Italian thing. Guys, I, I have personal experience because for most of my life, people thought I was Italian, okay? So I didn't get anti-Muslim discrimination until way later, until the right wing turned full-blown racist, bigoted, etc. And they're like, "Oh, you're brown and we hate you, right? But earlier in my life, especially in New Jersey growing up, any piece of shop I walked into, they're like, Paisan! And anytime anybody thought I was Italian, they're like, ah, oh, right? Whether they were Italian or not. People love Italians, right? Yeah, but look, it's a little bit unfair. I'm not Italian, you're not Italian. I really think that it's important for us to do a wellness check on John Iderola and make sure he's okay today, <laughs> given the anti-Italian discrimination that we're hearing from Trump. And by the way, I mean, who am I to criticize Trump on this one? He calls him Meatball Ron and I call John Johnny Pie. Mm. Yeah. Think about it, parallels. And by the way, we didn't even mean pizza pie. Okay. Hey, but now you begin to wonder. Mm. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, 
you got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.